This figure shows a typical hydraulic circuit. It contains a pump which pumps fluid. A relief valve in the circuit limits the maximum pressure in the system to 1000 psi. The circuit also contains a directional valve which controls the direction of flow in the circuit. In this circuit it controls the extension and retraction of the piston. The load in the system is 8,000 pounds. Calculate the values of the parameters listed below. Click on the right value for the cylinder area. Click on the right value for the cylinder diameter. Click on the right value for the pump capacity. Let us now discuss the solution. Select the right value. Let us now discuss the solution. Click on the right value for the input. Let us now discuss the solution. Click on the right value for the pump inlet line size. Let us now discuss the solution. The area of the inlet line is calculated in order to determine its nominal size. Refer to the steel pipe characteristics chart in the lightning reference handbook to determine the nominal size of the inlet line. The nominal size for the inlet line corresponding to the computed area of 1.67 square inches is 1.5 for schedule 40. Click on the right value for the pump outlet line size. Let us now discuss the solution. Calculate the area of the pump outlet to determine its nominal size. Find the nominal size of the outlet line from the steel pipe characteristics chart in the lightning reference handbook. The nominal size for the pump outlet line corresponding to the computed area of 0 0.33 square inches is 0 0.75 for Schedule 40. Refer to the pressure ratings chart for welded connections in seamless steel pipes in the Lightning Reference Handbook to determine the pressure rating of the pump outlet line. The pressure rating of 2,398 PSI of the pipe is more than the maximum pressure of 1,000 PSI in the system. Hence, a pipe size of 3 quarters of an inch for Schedule 40 is suitable for the pump outlet. You have completed the module on basic hydraulics.